So, I was asked, is this game pay to win? Or is Skyforge pay to win? So I thought what we'd do is, we'd do a short video, we'll just have a quick look at what you can buy in the shops and that. Now, I've played a lot of free to play games, or tried out a lot of free to play games, and there's definitely a lot of games out there that you go into and you sort of fight people or PvP or anything like that, and yeah, you know, you sort of come up against these people that got all the gear and it's just, well, they've obviously probably bought most of it. Not everybody, but a lot of them, because you, often you just can't seem to get a foothold. And even the stuff you do find and that's not necessarily the best and you do get wrecked. But in this one, uh, it's not quite like that. Uh, I actually feel like when I play this game that I'm at no disadvantage, because one, you're playing single player missions most of the time, which is what we do, which is like a lot of this. Uh, now you can go into groups, you can join a Pantheon and you can rank up a bit quicker that way, you'll get some benefits of being in a Pantheon. I've done it without, well I had did go into a Pantheon for a while, but when I started I didn't, so I've kind of built my way up over time. And, but like I say, you can go into group stuff and that and you kind of will get ranked the same but you're working together if you go into the PvP stuff um, sure you can probably buy a few bits and pieces um, that will initially make you progress quicker you might say but not actually at a disadvantage to others all that will happen is you'll go into say a fight and you'll have no experience because you've actually sort of ranked yourself off a bit quicker and you'll just get wrecked and you will probably get kicked if the other team, your team thinks you're that bad so that's something to bear in mind but um, what we'll do is we'll jump into the shop and we'll take a look which is this one so what can you get what can you buy and how does it work right with all these credits here that you see credits that is actually currency you can earn in game you can buy that currency as well if you like but basically that's what you can earn in game these Argents, sort of they call them, which are here, these ones, you buy, basically. And I believe it's, the Argents are here, you get 2,775 for 3 euros. I don't know that equates into dollars, but you'd have to look that up yourselves. Um, you get 6... Six and a half thousand for six ninety nine. We'll call it seven because it's only uh, one cent off or whatever. And as you can see, you've got all different amounts you can buy. So, what can you buy with that? Let's come back out of this. Well, you can buy any of this stuff, but then you can buy all of this with in-game credits, which you can earn. It's not too hard to get the credits. I mean, if you look down here, I've got nearly seven hundred thousand, which I've basically picked up in the last couple of days. You can buy spark repairs, give you a few more sparks, which will advance uh, this here. I think it's when you do like these, you can advance them quicker. But like I say, you've got to be a bit careful because you can rank yourself up really quick. But if you don't have, hold on, if you don't, here, if your stats aren't high enough for various things and your, um, when you game, play the game you get experience and all the rest of it. If all that isn't high, you're going to come on stock no matter how much you buy. And to be honest, I mean, you could probably buy a lot of sparks, buy this, buy that. You'll have to spend a hell of a lot of money to get yourself ranked up. And it's really not going to benefit you, to be honest. Because you're going to end up um, playing with players who are much higher ranked than you and you just won't have the skills. It's as simple as that. And you're just going to let them down or you're just going to get your ass kicked every time if you're playing PvP. So let's go back to the shop. Yeah. So what can you buy? Well, you can buy these things that will that'll upgrade your swords and that. But I mean, you use them, you you earn them over time anyway, and you do it yourself through the credits. And events doesn't matter. Consumables. All of these things you see here, you'll find those in game on various maps. Like these pills come from sea creatures that you kill. Uh, mushrooms will come in the forest somewhere. These things will come out of um, ancient relics. 
come out of crates you find lying around or chests. Uh, this will give you a bit of health, but you can only use one. You got a, quite a long cooldown, I think. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, it gives you 35% health, and the cooldown is two minutes. So useful, yes. At times, it might just about save your life, but uh, you can get by without them. You don't need to have them. And order. This will get your adepts. Upgrade your adepts. But they still need experience, I think, so you can upgrade them, but it's not going to be much good if they're not experienced enough, so. And this all, these holy texts, you can build temples. Again, you can buy this with the in-game credits, so it's not a big deal, really. And not only that, you're going to spend 4,000 on that. Uh, either sphere, and that's going to be, well, you'd need to get that one. It's going to cost you 7 euros, so, seriously. You know, you can do it. It, it all depends how you want to play the game. Transport, you can buy them yourself in-game, or you can, again, you can get yourself transport. It's not going to make a big difference, it'll just get you to places a bit quicker, yes, but it's not going to change the outcome of the game. Costumes, costumes is one thing you can go and buy. Now, you've got things like this, you can still buy it, it'll cost you like, the ones that you pay for, or can pay for, they're going to cost you quite a few credits, one and a half thousand, so... If you want to get that there, it's going to cost you one half thousand. Now I believe when they have like, um, you can buy special costumes, which I don't think are in here. I think you've got, you'll see them on the website, and so you can be a bit more unique or whatever. And that you will pay real money for if you want to get those sort of things and be like different. These things you'll get in game anyway. Again, this you'll get in game. You can pay real money for it. And I think this you need to be in a pantheon, I think. And this you earn these from doing missions, and eventually you can get. I don't even know what these are, but um, they give you special little abilities, and that I believe. And as you can see, there's no weapons or anything like that. You can't buy weapons. We'll go back to this to equipment here. Now you can't buy this obviously the weapon, you can't buy your shields, you get all this from drops, you get all of this from drops as well. These things which help make you stronger or, you know, stronger against chemicals or whatever else they've got. I mean, there's hundreds of different things here, you can see them all here. I mean, what have we got down here? We've got uh, hypnosis resistance and all these sort of things, but all these sort of things help against that. And you will get a lot of this as you progress through the game, through various means and ways. But, not so much with the buying stuff. Again, laboratory thing here, you earn these things by, over time, by um, doing this. Now you can buy these things, accelerate this, and it will make you more stronger against mechanoids, reefers of death, all this, and it will open these extra missions up quicker. But it's not going to really, like I say, I wouldn't say it's a pay to win. Yes, you'll open up your missions, but it doesn't mean you're going to win them. You've still got to go into these missions, fight all the bosses and that. And like I say, if you don't have the skills, then you're just not going to get through them. You'll just end up failing the mission every time. And on the single player, you're going to have to um, do missions anyway to progress. As you saw with us, we you need this here, prestige, this might go up a bit quicker if you're paying or buying stuff all the time but does it give you an unfair advantage over anybody else? I wouldn't say no, not at all not at the moment anyway, I mean you never know how things change but at the moment it doesn't really, I mean like I say all it'll do is get you up a bit quicker you'll get to your god mode and that but you still are gonna need all the skills and things you see all this stuff here, this just came from a little mission I did now this is all going to be rubbish to me, I think, if I look here. Yeah, I can't use any of it anyway. But you will pick up... This is PvP. You'll get threads, which will get you different costumes and that. And you'll get credits. You'll get credits for doing all sorts. And all these things, again, this has all been... I haven't bought any of this stuff here. This is all stuff you get. These you make from drops when you fight these various creatures and things. This is your valuables, and you've got limits as well. You can only 
earn so much a week. I mean, we've hit our limit with the tactical sense, and that's because I've been doing a lot of PvP, and you get tactical sense in those drops. But once you reach the zero limit, which are these things here, they won't give you tactical sense anymore. They'll only give you the threads, so there's limits on things as well, so you can't go up too quick as well. Well, they tried to, you know, it'll slow you down. Even credits, you can only earn so many, but I mean, look, 13 million, it's not likely you're going to earn that much. You have to really grind to be earning that much. So, yeah, sure, you could spend money. I mean, developers are going to make their money somehow. You know, they're bringing you a fantastically huge game with loads to do, and they need to make money. And the way that they've got it, I feel is um, really good the way they do it. They sell packs and things as well. You can, well, I believe you can anyway, you can buy collector's edition. You can, there's all sorts. You'd need to go on the website for it. But as far as the actual game goes, playing it, you can play this without paying anything at all. Just, you know, if you haven't got the money. But, you know, if you fancy a new costume or, you know, you want to sort of upgrade your, um, I don't know, your adepts a bit quicker or move things on a little bit. Sometimes you get stuck with something and you have to grind for it maybe a bit longer. You can push ahead like with this. You can maybe get extra the spark replicators, get a few extra sparks and that going. But pay to win? Nah. A lot of people are too easy or too quick to jump at games because they're free to play. That's pay to win. And there are. There are a lot out there. And trying to filter through them. Through them. You know, sometimes you play this kind of game, and uh, well, not this particular one, but you play certain games, and you get, you know, a few days into it, and all of a sudden, bang, you you come up against a paywall, where you're just not going to get anywhere unless you pay, or suddenly everybody's sort of way ahead of you. Um, this game, I wouldn't say that. I'd say, you know, I mean, we've we've unlocked all these now. We haven't paid for any of this unlock all this it all you know it's the same like the clothes I haven't actually what have I bought I haven't actually really I've, the only clothes I really bought are the ones that um, you get the threads you actually collect threads and if you see hang on back there if you see here when you, these are no good to me so what you do is you do right click on them and you can either assemble into stones which are these things so you get these now these you can either combine them to make better ones if you don't use these lower grade ones or you can sell them. So basically you can take that, there, 185, sell it, gone. And a little tip actually is the premium subscription. Now you can buy premium, that will get you more credits and oh, I can't remember what else it does. It gets you a few extra sparks, credits, depends on what you're doing, where you are to whether you get extra stuff, you know. Instead of, say, 1,000 credits, you might get 1,200, 500, whatever. But what you can do is you can actually buy premium with your in-game credits. So if you get enough credits, you can buy Argents. And this will work out about, I think it's about 320,000. Then you can get 2,000 of those. And you can get three days subscription. And this is here, you'll get... 200% more of those, credits, this sort of thing. And it will help you progress, and that's actually worth doing. If you do play the game, you know, save up some of your in-game credits and get yourself some of this. And you'll actually get, I've actually had two or three drops. I had a, I think I had a 14 day um, subscription or premium account. I don't know where I got it from, it was something I did. I've had a couple of three days and I've had a seven day. Which you actually can find, well, not find, but when you do as missions at certain points or in a drop somewhere, you'll actually get them occasionally, which is great. You're getting basically the premium subscription for nothing. So, is it pay to win? I'd say no. I'd say, I mean, I've played, like, say, others, and they really are pay to wins. This isn't at all, really. You know, and it's optional as well with, the, with what you're doing. You don't have to... Um, play PvP, if you don't want to play PvP, you can just literally go through and do all the single mission stuff. You will need to group up at times, but again, you're in a group, you're not fighting each other, you know, you're playing as a group, but you'll have to do that for certain missions, because 
they're just too hard. I mean, unless you get really, really strong in the game, you're going to end up having to group with people and do stuff. Uh, but there's a lot of single player stuff you can do on your own. So there you go. That's my take on it. Is it pay to win? No.